Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover the vMix Multicorder. The Multicorder is a feature that allows you to record each of your camera inputs individually. That means that you can record your full production, but also record each camera. It's also known as an ISO recorder. There are quite a few advantages of recording all of your cameras separately. It allows you to use the footage from each camera, and then re-edit your entire production. Maybe you didn't like a particular shot, or underutilized an angle, or maybe you even made a mistake when switching. It's great for B-roll footage, uh, as it gives you a high quality recording with no overlays. You can also use the footage in other productions, tutorial videos, montages, or even to provide to your client. You may just want to record all of the angles, just because you want to, and well, that's fine as well. Now the multi-quarter feature is available in the 4K and Pro editions of vMix. Due to the fact that you are recording your cameras alongside the ability to record your overall production, you will need a fairly powerful system. You will need an SSD for recording, an i7 processor and a high-end graphics card with at least 1GB of onboard memory. Something similar to our Ruby build that we have on our reference systems page will do the trick. Remember, you are recording a lot of data at the same time as running a production, so there's a lot of content to be processed. Now we're going to take a look at how to set that up. So down the bottom of vMix, you'll see the multi-quarter section. Now again, you will need the 4K or Pro edition of vMix to use this, or if you are using the trial, you'll be able to see this as well. So if we go down the bottom, we'll be able to open up the multi-quarter settings. Now any sources that can be used with the multi-quarter will appear in this list down the bottom here. This will be camera sources which will include capture card based cameras or NDI cameras. For the most reliable ISO records, SDI or HDMI capture card connections will be best as they will provide consistent frame rates and good quality. Now up the top you'll see different recording formats. Each format has its own advantages. For example, some are fault tolerant, some are really high quality, and others you can use with the hardware encoding options in vMix. You will need to test them out to see what works best for you. Now I'm going to link some more information about the recording types in the description. So as you can see, we have different options here for recording. Now different options have different settings as well, so FFmpeg will have different codecs that you can choose. Um, and save MP4, you can also use the hardware encoder here. Now each of them will come with slightly different settings like video bitrate and audio bitrate and that type of thing. So keep in mind that certain high quality codecs will require a large amount of processing power. Um, so keep that in mind when you're doing your recording and you're doing your testing. Okay, so now underneath that you'll see the audio setting here. So you'll be able to choose the master audio. So that's your entire production's audio that will be um, recorded with this camera. You can choose the camera's input. So let's say you had a microphone attached to the camera or embedded audio. You could use that input uh, audio to go alongside the video. Or you can select none, which means that you'll just have the video footage in the file. Now underneath that, you'll see new file every. Now you can choose to select when vMix will create these new files. So for example, every minute, every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every 16 minutes. Now by default it's set at none, but just in case you're worried about maybe a power outage or some sort of issue with your system, you probably wanna change um, the new file to a, a certain interval here that you can select. Now as I mentioned before, some video file types are fault tolerant, but a lot of them aren't. So you wanna make sure that if you are worried about something to set this at a particular um, interval so you've got those um, files just in case you do lose power or something. Now on the right hand side, you'll see WAV file record and this will uh, allow you to create a high quality audio file alongside um, these video files as well. So if you wanna use that, you can select that option just by ticking it. Now if you want to change the recording folder of any of your inputs, you just select it and then click change recording folder. Now you can choose to put these in different locations, but make sure that wherever you put your recording, it's on an SSD drive. Now in order to get started, we just need to select the inputs that we wanna record, so these tick boxes here, and then we can click the start recording button here, or we can go to the bottom of vMix and click the multi-quarter button. So we're just gonna close this down and click multi-quarter. So I've got my cameras here. So these are currently being recorded. 
Um, I should probably turn off this audio. Um, so we've got these currently recording and if I go into the settings here, I'll be able to see the duration, the drop frames um, and the, the, where it's recording. So if I want to stop that, I can hit this button here or if I go back out of it, I can hit this button here or ask me to stop multi-quarter. So I'm going to click OK. So that's going to stop the multi-quarter. Now if I go into my video file area, which is here, um, I can then start using these either in a production or for editing and that type of thing. So if I just drag this in here and we'll just play this. So that's just going to play the video of the camera that I have just recorded. Okay, so that's how you set up ISO recordings using the multi-quarter in vMix. Keep in mind that multiple high quality inputs at the same time is very resource intensive. Always practice using the multi-quarter in a full rehearsal with your recording and streaming so that you can gauge what your system is capable of. If you have any questions about the multi-quarter feature or system requirements, feel free to send us an email via the support page on vmix.com. I'll also link the guide for vmix recordings in the description below. And you can also find out more information about our reference systems and what you can use with the multi-quarter on our website here. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Click to watch another exciting vmix tutorial.